What's happening YouTube? My name is Kennedy and I am here to give you the solution that you have all been looking for. You know how I know because I looked for it everywhere. I went through all the 20 to 100 other YouTube videos out there on this subject, tried all of the things they suggested and none of them worked. So don't waste your time. I particularly like that one guy, so cocky, condescending. Oh, you gotta do this because... Anyway, his solution was wrong as well. You'll see my comments under there. Uh, but in any case, um, the problem is that vape tanks leak. They all leak. Every single one of them leak. You know how I know they all leak? Oop, that one's upside down. Because I went through five of them. Um, I'm just a guy that doesn't have time to be troubleshooting and, 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 and worrying about things. I tried to look at one YouTube video. I tried. It didn't work. I'd buy another one. Um, until finally I sat down and tried all the YouTube videos and then none of them worked and finally I got fed up and I said, you know what, I'm going to solve this problem. Um, to, for some of, oh, you know what, let me do this first. For some of you, um, if you're like me, you get really annoyed when you're looking for an answer to something and you look at a YouTube video and the guy talks for 20 minutes before he even gets to the problem. I'm not going to be that guy. Um, if, if, if that's your, 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 if that's who you are, Spoiler alert, the answer is going to be Teflon, okay? Now you can go figure it out, try it, and go on about your business. Um, now, for the rest of you, um, what you want to see is why I know this is the answer before you waste your time on it. Um, again, I know it's a problem with every tank because I went through, because I, I now own five tanks because of this. I kept buying new ones, and all of them did the same thing. They leak. Um, and I know it's the solution because once I figured it out, I tried it on all five tanks, and guess what? All five tanks no longer leak. So unless I'm the unluckiest guy in the world to have gotten five tanks that all had the same problem when it's a rare problem, um, and then suddenly became the luckiest guy in the world because the same solution worked on all of them, um, it's a problem everybody has, and this will solve it every single time. Troubleshooting is very simple. Um, you know, I'm not a mechanic. Um, I did work on jet engines in the Navy, so um, you know, I'm not a mechanical idiot either. I can troubleshoot a simple plumbing system, which is what this is. So um, anyway, the troubleshooting is simple. You look at this thing, and right down here, I don't know what uh, people in, in your generation, I'm an old Gen X, are sorry, but uh, people in the new millennial generation, they call that, we used to call it a carb, and it used to be on things that I won't talk about on in public, but uh, <laughs> it's not a carb anymore. It's an airflow ventilator, matriculator. I don't know what the hell you call it, but this hole right here where the air comes in, um, the juice is always in the well behind that hole. Okay, that means it's coming down. Obviously, gravity's pulling it down. Now, when you have this problem, it's never out here because you can feel it and it's not leaking. So these gaskets are not the problem. If they were, it'd be it'd be wet on the outside. It's coming through on the inside, okay? Which means it's coming through the uh, the coil, <laughs> plain and simple. Now, the one cocky guy that I kind of mouthed off at in, in his comments, he's uh, on the on the smock tanks. There, there's a little plunger um, right here, and and there's there's a, a gasket around it. And he said that uh, if you push it down and spin it, then you'll never have that problem again. Well. I did that, and I did that on about four or five different coils, and I still had that problem. So not only is that guy cocky, but he's wrong. Um, so that leaves only one other place where this the, the juice can get down, and that is past the threads. It's that simple. It, it can't come down anywhere else. Again, as I said at the beginning of this video, the answer is Teflon. Take, so, take some Teflon, wrap it around here. It'll look like this. Okay? Then screw it in. Make sure you screw it in the right way and don't cross the threads and everything. Screw it into your tank, fill it up, and your tank will never leak again. Again, five tanks with this problem. All of your tanks with this problem is probably why you're watching this video. Um, and all five tanks no longer leak and have not. I waited over a week after I, after I tried it to make sure that they didn't start leaking. None of them leak anymore. My, my mod is bone dry. My hands aren't greasy. There's no little drips. It's not even sweating. Um, it's, it's a perfect solution. Works every single time. Everything else you hear and all these other videos, ignore it. Don't do that. Take it from me. I figured it out. Um, and, uh, you know, there was one guy that came close, and he was funny. Um, he, he said to put dental floss around here. Now, now folks, don't try to reinvent the wheel. There's absolutely no reason for that. Don't try to out, don't outsmart yourself, okay? Dental floss 
and Teflon don't cost this Teflon doesn't cost hardly anything I mean for less than a buck you can get a roll like this at uh, at uh, office or Home Depot or uh, or Lowe's and the dental floss probably costs about the same and the dental floss was not invented for this purpose this was invented for this purpose threads on plumbing valves to make sure that liquids don't go past um, why um, with with the dental floss, I can see you probably are possibly uh, adding mass into those threads and and tearing up your uh, tearing up your tank, the threads on your tank um, through repeated use. It, it's stupid. Don't do it. Um, make a trip to Home Depot or Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. Make a trip to Lowe's. Spend a dollar. Get yourself some Teflon. Do this. Ignore everyone else making videos on this subject, and you will no longer have the leaking problem. Now. I'm not going to go back and edit this video because, as you can see, I don't have any a whole stack of, of YouTube videos on my channel. Um, I'm not that guy. I'm not a guy looking to, to, to score all these, these hits and views. I don't have sponsors. I'm really just doing this to try to help you. So if you want to comment about how bad the video quality is because I didn't do all that and make it neat, um, I, I don't care. <laughs> just go on. Don't watch it. it whatever. I, put the, I made this video for one purpose and one purpose only. I, I took my time to help you because I was absolutely through the roof at trying to take everybody else's suggestions and fix this problem. And it's finally gone, and now it's gone for you if you listen to me. Or don't, whatever. Um, in any case, um, Kennedy, this is really the first one of these type of YouTube videos I've ever done. Probably the last. Like I said, I'm a Gen Xer. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sit around and do this all the time. Got to go to work. Anyway, good luck to you. Do that. Take care. Bye.